Hello again, Steve here with a few comments to follow up on a video I did about a week ago about MGTOW and it was uh, it was an interesting thing because I had never really uh, made it made a comment about MGTOW before but it was it was uh, well received by a very small few and not so well received by the majority by the look of it in terms of the comments now my contention in that video was that um, MGTOWs have kind of made a stand that no women are really capable of being good, honest, decent, and so on. And maybe I didn't make it clear, but my contention is, or my belief is, from observation and just from pure logic, is that we can't go around and say that women are basically like widgets. We can't say that all women are such and such. And that is completely absurd and it's completely illogical. If there's any element in society of good men, which I'm guessing that MGTOW people are going to say about themselves, surely uh, that you who's watching, if you call yourself MGTOW, you're not going to say that you're a rotten person. I, I don't think that makes any sense. I don't think that would be, you wouldn't be honest with yourself. So if you're going to be able to say that you're a good person and that other guys can be good people, uh, how is it not possible, at least, that some women be good people? That, that to me, I, 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 I'm, I'm missing something there completely. So, um, so I mean, basically, and I think that some of the, I mean, I, I admittedly, have not done a lot of research into MGTOW and some of the comments in there are completely legitimate. I should probably go and watch, you know, 25 videos and read up on it as to what it is. But my initial contention was that there's an element of immaturity in, in the MGTOW um, perspective based on that pure logic of it's, it's just women are just completely right off. Um, and based on, you know, the situations of feminism and this, the welfare state and all that. And I, and I get, I get the point of the serious dangers of that, of the highly um, feminized way things have gone. But I, I still not going to write people off because, like I say, people are, uh, human beings are not widgets. And it's, it's not a spoil for them all. Now, I think, though, to a certain extent, my comments have been somewhat vindicated by reading the comments that were left here because my my point was hopefully was along the lines of this the element of immaturity and immaturity to me shows up in just you know bullet style um, ad hominems such as mangina and maricon and for those who don't know what maricon is it's basically Spanish for homosexual um, I mean, this 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 has got no content, no context. It's just it's just a, um, um, you know, throwing stones at somebody who can't really, uh, just because you you feel you don't have anything else to do. It's it's completely ridiculous, and it is definitely, in my perspective, a sign of immaturity. Um, so yeah, I, I I feel that I have been somewhat vindicated. And I'll just I'll just read off a couple of them, just to. You know, just to give an example of what I'm talking about here, you know. Um, so, I'm every man says that I'm an average man. My standards are very low, and American women cannot even meet my low standards. Finding an average female who is not obese, never divorced, who doesn't have massive monetary debt, who doesn't have someone else's kids, who hasn't had multi, multiple abortionos, is nowhere to be found in, the, in this country, okay? Add to that the equation of females whose ego, sense of entitlement, narcissism isn't off the charts. It's nowhere to be found. Buy a dog and put your nuts on ice. I mean, come on. I, I'm, one of the things that I pointed out in my video is that if we work on ourselves, I mean, somebody who is hanging around or only sees these kind of women, 
my goodness, I, you'd live in a different universe than I do, for one thing. And, um, and you admit that you have very low standards. My standards are very low. Well, why are your standards very low? Can't you uh, raise yourself a little bit? I mean, yes, um, I think that there is a tendency of human beings to be like uh, a herd or a, a flock. And there's a ghetto mentality that takes place. I mean, it's not a surprise. It's not, it's not enforced segregation anywhere anymore. But you go to Detroit or Chicago and, you know, Hispanics generally live in Hispanic areas and blacks in black areas and whites in white areas. And it's also a mental tribe that goes on. If you're going to run with a crowd that has very low standards and all you're going to see and, 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 your, and your perspective is, is towards these sorts of women, well, um, I don't know. I don't know if I really have any, any meaningful comment on that, but that's, that is, um, that's amazing that that's all you see. It's astounding. I, I really uh, have um, empathy, I would have to say, if I can. Um, there was one guy up here, he said that, uh, he said, like, this uh, this guy is not even worth a comment. And <laughs> he starts making comments down below. It was pretty funny. Um, another guy says, uh, two words, divorce corp. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was just, it was on and on. If I wish I could, I wish I could read them all, but there was so many comments. Um, let me see here now. There was a few of them, you know, uh, there was a few good comments. Mostly they were down, uh, thumbs down, which was understandable. And I think that's, uh, representative of the, of the, um, of what I was saying. Um... Let's see here now. Um, here's a warhorse. You, sir, are still deeply entrenched in the matrix. As a married man, you still think you have to handle the situation. I would suggest you delve deeper into MGTOW philosophy before informing, forming your opinions about it because you have it wrong. By the way, I hope you have a long and happy marriage. The odds are stacked against that happening. And maybe they are, statistically. But statistics are not what, what we have to let govern our lives. An uncle of mine used to say, you know, there's lies, there's damn lies, and then there's statistics. Because they're just numbers, right? I mean, it's, if two people have a dedication to getting along, and um, are able to see society's ideas like feminism and, 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 and radical uh, socialism as just complete nonsense and destructive, then it's all, it's all completely relevant, right? It's focus on the virtue. Uh, yeah, here's the one that says, uh, Messenger Rising. Ah, any words would be a waste of time here. I'm done. And then later on he talks. Um, he, he makes a comment later on and says, he looks like that Roosh dude. She probably told him after she heard him talking, no blow jobs for a month. Ha ha ha. Sucks to be a lap dog. I mean, you know, that's an example of ex extreme immaturity. No content of, 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 it's, it's an attack. It's a, it's a verbal attack. So uh, why should I bother reading a lot into MGTOW when, and trying to educate myself about it? when my, my point in the original video was basically along the lines of there's an element of immaturity. Tell me a comment like that has anything to do with maturity. It's, it's just ridiculous and uh, um, you know it was worth a, a little chuckle more than anything I'd say. Um, so there was, there was a few others. You can, you can read them. You can type in coffee chat MGTOW and you'll get that first video come up. So I guess, you know, just a, just a response. You know, I, I admittedly don't know a whole lot about MGTOW. I've heard about it, and I get the one side of it. I get the dangers that have arisen because of the pendulum. The pendulum is such a way now that women are looked at first in terms of divorce court 
and the, um, the whole socialist drive has been thrust towards women. Because if you can replace the man in society with welfare, then you can control the children. You can separate the man off from the family setting. Because the family has always been the greatest threat to government um, totalitarian control, which is what, uh, that's my uh, impression anyways, which is more and more what we're seeing. So if you can inculcate the minds of women and control them, then you can control the minds of the children and you create a very pliable society which is which is neutered of masculinity essentially of that aggressive masculinity and I get I get that and I and I and I, I laud those who are working in MGTOW to bring those sort of things forward but I'm just saying that I think there's an element of immaturity too because we're then turning around and saying okay women are such and such and whenever I hear that I read uh, you know the the red flags and the sirens go off inside my head because to say that's like saying you know, all Americans are such and such. All Americans are obese or eat eat burgers every day, or or whatever. It's it's a generalization which doesn't really mean anything. I have no, I have no idea what that really means. It's nonsense, in other words, because I, I've never met two women in my life who are the same. I have never. Um, and also, there's the there's the very few, and there are few, I would say. But once again, if we're going to call ourselves virtuous and upright and willing, willing to learn and work on ourselves, we are also extremely rare, right, in terms of the grand scheme of things. And maybe it is true that there's even fewer women who are. But nevertheless, why write off human beings with just this giant paintbrush of women are such and such? And therefore, we have to just forget about that possibility. I think that's, I think that's kind of ridiculous. And um, hopefully, um, some people will see this with some sort of, uh, some sort of a light of, uh, yeah. There's 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 a good point to be made there. And uh, you know, it's not to say that. We have to go look for women, I and mean, there's nothing wrong with remaining um, celibate or whatever. But I mean, at the same time, there's that human nature to for a man to want to be with a woman, and a woman to want to be with a man, probably. So why let this whole social engineering nonsense get in the way of us? At least, why not allow for that possibility? Why not get honest with ourselves, get to know ourselves as much as we can so that we can just see through that whole facade of nonsense and lies that most people are living. So when we see the gems that are out there, and they're obviously, in many cases, not in the circles that we're, const that we're currently walking in if if what that guy was saying at the bottom was true, that all these women are obese and they get all kinds of kids and everything, well, they're probably not in that circle. Uh, at least that would be very rare. But there are different circles that people run in. You know, get out on the trails running in the morning, for example. Go where, go where you haven't gone before, right? Get a bicycle, get rid of your car, and start riding. You know, I, I, just something outrageous, right? Start living differently, and you'll start to meet a different class of people. I don't know. Who am I to make suggestions? I don't really know a lot. Um, admittedly, and uh, by the attacks, they are correct in many cases. But uh, just some thoughts, anyways, follow up uh, thoughts. What do you think? I suspect there'll be a few comments. I look forward to them. And uh, put your thumb whatever way you feel is best. Thanks, guys. Great chatting again.